Hi guys, I'm Julie from Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe, like and ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new tutorial. Thank you all for joining me today in making this Frida Kahlo inspired shoulder bag. So let's see what we need. We are going to need 12 of the flower granny square. For this I've used black and red yarn in size 2, a 3 and a 4 mm crochet hook, yarn needle, stitch markers and chain for the back handles. I'm going to put the link for the flower granny square in the description box down below this video. So go ahead and check this out to make your granny squares. This is optional. If you want to line your bag, you are going to need fabric, sharp scissors, matching sewing thread, if you have a sewing machine, and a closure of your choice. Okay, so once you have all of your 12 granny squares done, now go ahead and take three of them. We are going to create granny square stripes first. So for this, lay two of your granny squares, the right side facing each other and take your yarn needle and sew your granny together so from the front granny you are going to pick the front loop and for your back granny you are going to pick the back loop only to make your sewing just like this Now go ahead and sew all the way down. You are going to have a total of 18 stitches and then take your third granny and also lay them the right side facing each other and sew them together and do the same with the rest of your grannies. It should look like this. and. You are going to have a total of four granny square stripes. So this is it for granny square stripes. Now we are going to work around our granny square stripe to create a rectangle. So take your three millimeter crochet hook and your main color, in my case, black yarn and rejoin your yarn right here in this corner not in the chain, but in the first double crochet stitch see, in this one here rejoin with a slip stitch and then chain 3 this is going to be your first double crochet and now work one double crochet in each stitch and meet me back once you're here so right here in this one chain space you are going to make one double crochet and then jump to the next one chain space and make one double crochet now work till the end of the row so till you reach your next corner one double crochet in each stitch and one double crochet in the one chain space and meet me back to show you how to work your corner Okay, so once you're here, we are going to make two double crochet 
chain 2 and another 2 double crochet all in the 2 chain space basically as you've made for your granny square like this and now work one double crochet in each stitch till you reach your next corner and I'm going to work this off camera and then meet you back to show you how to close your first round so right here Okay, so I'm at the end of my first round. Now we still have this two chain space here and we are going to make our fourth corner. So two double crochets, chain two and another two double crochets all in the same space. Now close with a slip stitch in your third chain. And to step up, chain three. This is going to be your first double crochet and do the same as your first round now work this fashion for a total of three rows okay so once you have all your all of your four rectangles done lay them flat like this and put some stitch markers so see I've put stitch markers to hold my rectangles together and then you need to sew your pieces together so first here and then here so I'm going to do this off camera and then meet you back once I have this done Once you have this done, it's time to sew your sides together. So like this, lay them the right side facing each other. And sew your sides together. So first here, and then here on this side. So I'm going to do this off camera and then meet you back once I have this done. Okay, so this is what it should look like once you've sewn your four sides together. Now go ahead and line your bag if you like to. I am going to line my bag and then meet you back to show you how to work around your bag and how to attach your handles and the closure. Okay, so around our bag opening, I want to work one row of single crochets and picots in between. So for this, take your 3mm crochet hook, your yarn, so in my case it's going to be my red yarn, and rejoin in this corner. So in the first double crochet with a single crochet just like this now make one single crochet in the next two stitches and now for the picot chain three and slip stitch to your first chain like this slip stitch and make one single crochet in the next three stitches and then again one picot so chain three slip stitch to your very first chain like this and then one single crochet in the next three stitches and this is how you are going to work all around your back opening
Okay, so now it's time to attach our handles. So take your yarn needle and your yarn, put them in two and tie a knot like this. And now take your chain. I've prepared my both chains. So take your chain and now we are going to sew them on the back in this corner. So hold your chain like this and then go from inside out with your yarn needle, leave a tail and go back around your chain and now inside of your loop like this to secure your yarn and now all you need to do is to sew around your chain around your loop so from the inside out and then from the outside in and then Secure your yarn, cut and weave in your ends and work like this on all of your four corners. We are almost done guys so now it's time to make our closure and I've decided that instead of, a, of my magnetic closure I want to make a crochet button and then make a loop to close. Now let me show you how to crochet your button. So take your yarn, in my case my black one your 3 millimeter crochet hook and chain 4. Now close in your very first chain by making a slip stitch and you've created this little loop. Now inside of your loop you are going to make as many single crochet as you can I'm not counting my stitches, I just make single crochets and now 
We are not going to slip stitch to our first single crochet, but we are going to work over our single crochets all around. So work over your single crochets as much as you can till you have your loop close. Okay, so I'm going to work this off camera and then meet you back once I have this done. Okay, see, there is no hole. Now chain one, leave a long tail. Cut your yarn and this is the crochet button. Now with your yarn needle go ahead and sew your button right here on the back and once you have this done it's, out, it's time to make the loop. So on the other side we are going to reattach the yarn so make a slip knot and reattach with a single crochet and now go ahead and chain Again, I'm not counting my my chains. Just go ahead and put this like this to see how many chains you need to make. So I'm going to chain a few more. Once you have the length that you need, so you want to make sure you can easily close and open your bag, go ahead and close with a slip stitch to your first single crochet you've made and then chain one, cut your yarn and weave in your loose ends. I'm now at the end of my tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it and it was helpful. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I'm happy to help you. Thank you all for watching and see you soon with a new tutorial. Bye bye.